every night fucks every day up Every day patches done mud up No harm oh, in the God, you should match it, it's the KO No one let us kill, I fuck my 28 up Today we have Thundercat and Tame Impala. This sound like a fucking amazing ass duo that I didn't know I needed, bro. Two amazing artists, two amazing creative artists. Matched together, bro, what can go wrong, bro? They dropped a song called No More Lies. Man, fuck all that talk, we about to get straight to it, bro. No More Lies, let's get it. This shit is amazing, bro. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm have to say it already, bro. All I had to expect was wonderful ass production from these two, and this is exactly what they giving me. <laughs> Camera died earlier, but I'm back in business, you know what I'm saying? I'm Thundercat, I love you, bro. That's all I gotta say. Yeah, But it's not your fault. I'm just kind of ass. <laughs> Thundercat always give me like the most talented goofball in the world vibes. Like he got everything down when it comes to the music shit, but he's a goofball at the end of the day and I love his music because it actually brings out his personality. He kind of makes like the most genuine music in the world. That was a brilliant ass line. He said, as you go out in the world, don't look back to move forward. Let your past stay in the past. That goes for relationships, friendships, even old hobbies, anything that you regret losing. I'm not gonna sit here and act like nothing is worth going back to, but it's like sometimes you just gotta appreciate new beginnings, you feel me? I feel like most of the time when we look back at the past and appreciate and want things back, we don't really want the, the actual thing that we don't do anymore. We want the feeling that it used to give us. Sometimes you gotta really think like, why did I stop doing this? Or why did I stop being friends with this person? Or why did I hop out of this relationship? It's always the why that keeps you pushing. A lot of girls, struggle with that like um he cheated on me he cheated on me but they'll go back to him because they miss how happy he made him probably like in the first half of their relationship and shit that nigga is not the same person he's not treating you the same way because that nigga don't want to he don't like your ass no more like that <laughs> Yeah. 
and you, but you're still angry. Uh-huh. So sometimes I feel like I still should have lied. Oh wow! I tell you the truth because I care, Damn. but I also lie to you because I care. Damn. But if I tell you the truth, I guess I can sleep better at night. Yeah. But then it looks like I don't care because I'm telling you the truth. Everybody hates when they get to that part when they realize that. I don't want to tell you I don't care, but if it seems like I don't care, it doesn't mean I don't care. It just looks like I don't care. Emotions have been sanded off. <laughs> I live in LA, sweetie. What do you expect? <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's his personality right there. Like, he's goofy. Like, I feel like me and Thundercat would be like the best of friends if I meet this nigga. But that's besides the point. Um. The last part, kind of show you how things are in life where no matter what you do, Virtue. somebody not going like this shit. Like he, he told you like, if he tell the truth, she gonna think you don't care. If you lie, you lying. So she gonna get mad at that too. And she gonna also think you don't care. But he said that if I tell the truth, that mean he cares. And when he lie, he cares too. When you lie to somebody about something that somebody cares about, you're protecting their feelings. If you tell the truth, sometimes the truth hurts, but it is needed. Like, it's what they need to know. So, either way, it's caring of the person. It's crazy how he does both because he care, and then like, on her perspective, Either way he does it means that he don't care. It's crazy how it's crazy how relationships like that work. It's definitely like a paradox for real. Like you can't win out here. This is a golden track right here. I've been waiting for some new Thundercat music, man. If 2023 is the year I get a new Thundercat album, then I'ma enjoy that shit, man. I mean, if, if this is the start of an album rollout, man, this is the perfect time. We hadn't in the spring summer season, so it's like I already know the summer gonna be a good summer if I get a Thundercat album, bro. If Tame drop too, you feel me? Hey man, we can do this all day, man. This song, I think, is the very first song on my on my channel that's not a rap song. This is the first reaction I think I did that's not rappers. Maybe I have some R&B in there, but I'm not even sure of that. If y'all wanna see me react to more alternative type music, make sure you smash the like button right now. So drop a like, comment, subscribe, turn the post notifications on. And once you do that, you are gonna become one of Spike Leak's homie, you feel me? I love all my homies. And for all my homies out there, I wish you a wonderful day. I wish you blessings, money, and positivity for the day tomorrow forever, you know what I'm saying? Spike League tuning out. Wavy is boss at the game. If you ain't know, now you know. Your favorite content creator, and if not, it will be. See y'all next time. Let's get it.